All right. Uh, am I audible? You guys can hear me? Yes? Yeah. Uh, can you someone help me with closing the door, please? Like, so we'll, we'll get started. Thanks, Matthew. All right. Great. Uh, so good evening, everyone. So how are you guys doing now? Better? OK, so uh, I'm going to tell a story before we start, like why this topic and like why this happened and all that. Uh, just for us to be on the same page so you guys know what the context is. Uh, before that, I want to understand uh, what did you guys think this topic is going to be when you see the title, An Ode to an Instagram Generation? Usability. Usability, yeah, that was written on the abstract. But just by looking at the title, what did you think? Like, which means everyone reads abstract. Okay, great. I thought people don't. Fine. Any idea, anything else? The power of communication through pictures and visuals. Okay, all right. The generation with very little attention span. The generation with very little attention span. Okay. So, how many of you believe that you belong to the generation? Yes, no, maybe. Like, so all the all the Instagrammers and the Snapchatters here. Like, how many Instagrammers and Snapchatters do I have today? Okay, one. Just one. No, no, be bold and be happy about it. Why are you guys hiding yourself from like Snapchat is still a nice app, except for the hideous things. That's okay. Like, but, but even if you have used Instagram or Snapchat once, I would just like to know who has used Instagram and Snapchat once. Oh, wow, great. That's fantastic. Okay, that makes my job simpler. So what I'm going to talk today is, uh, so before that, there's a quick context on why this talk. Uh, honestly, the fact is, uh, while we're curating the entire topic for like this entire discussion. Uh, for unfortunately, we had a couple of speakers who just dropped out and we had to like quickly figure out, okay, what is it we're going to do? We have like very little time. We need to find out what I have to talk, what, what we have to do for these sessions. So my session is one such, one such session. Uh, so now that I'm going to do a talk, I thought I might as well do something about what I'm passionate about. So I'm going to take you guys back to a year ago, like say in 2016, at the same workshop in Agile India. Uh, I was attending a workshop with Amy. Like, were you guys there? Like any of you here in this room who did product discovery? Yeah. So I was very inspired by what happened in the session you know related to product discovery meeting users hiring them and understanding what they need and like how do you get them and all that for the past one year my journey has been with users uh, you know I've like spoken with like hundreds of users done like different kinds of studies to understand how they react and respond uh, fortunately I put myself as a guinea pig as well so I should I used to be a heavy Facebooker for some time and then I realized what will happen if I'm going to uninstall or like deactivate Facebook and then start with Instagram and then see if I stop Instagram and start with Snapchat and I just realized at the end of the day that I can live with anything but WhatsApp. So primarily because it was so convenient in WhatsApp, you know, like if I have to share something, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, okay, I'm going to share that in WhatsApp. You know, I don't know how many of you do that. Uh, if you have to share a link or something, what is the first app you use? Most likely it's WhatsApp, right? Like for instance, in Snapchat has a particular feature to it and Facebook has a particular quality to it. And even your messaging services has a particular quality to it, right? So this is what technically in the product discovery world they call it as a core loop. You guys have heard of this word before? So every product has a core loop that keeps the user uh, makes the user come back to the UP again and again. So likewise, it's very important for us to understand what a core loop is. So what I'm going to talk about today is, did you guys attend Naresha's session? Anybody here? Okay, so I think in Naresha's session, it was about gathering the idea and understanding what your core loop is, what is your idea is. So what I'm going to talk about is a little bit on the advanced side. Uh, so I'll anyway go through the entire life cycle for the benefit of others. But just for you guys to have a context, you guys have an option if you decide this session may not be for you. I think you can walk out right now or even much later. It's okay. Uh, but the whole idea is what we're going to talk today is going to be very specific to usability. So what is usability and how do we do these tests? And I'm going to run a few exercises, that's pretty much. And there are going to be like a couple of slides. And I got quite kicked when I started looking at some of the GIFs that we had for Instagram. So I've just kind of overloaded my slide decks with GIFs because they're pretty cool. Uh, so you, you guys don't have to bother about the slides. So largely, I'm going to have exercises. And we're going to have learning through each other. All right, fair enough? OK, great. So yeah, so the very first question is, uh, why usability test? Any idea? Like you, you guys understand what a usability test is. How is it different from an idea validation? How user can easily use a system? Okay, without help from anyone else. All right. Okay. What about idea validation? How is it different? A great idea might fail if there is a poor usability. All right. Okay. So will a bad idea work if there was great usability? 
it might definitely support it. Okay, all right. Anyone else? Idea testing comes much earlier in the phase. Uh -huh. and it is, it's towards the later part of the cycle, right? Okay, all right. I think we are on the same page. But before we get into this, I'll also give an insight into what happens in any product cycle. So first thing is idea. You have like a fantastic idea. You think you're going to change the world, right? You're going to start with that. And there are like a bunch of people who say, okay, this is my idea. This is what I want to do. So what is the first thing that you do? You go and build it, right? Right? Is that what we do? Typically, yes. Typically, yes. But what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to validate it, right? So how do you validate it? Like, what are the options? How do you go ahead and validate it? Sorry? A quick POC is like proof of concept, okay, or a prototype. And then what? Anything else? Checking with some prospective users. Checking in with pro some prospective users, okay, anything else? So basically, anything that's cheaper. You had something to say, sorry. Are there any similar products? Can we use their prototype? So basic idea is I don't want to spend any more money on this, but I still want to get whether my idea is super cool or not. That's all exactly what I'm going to do. So it can be multiple techniques. So I'm going to keep it very simple here. So the first step would be your idea validation. So this can be done in multiple levels. You know, you can talk to users, you can survey, you can give them an app, you can do paper prototypes. Have you guys heard of paper prototypes? Right? And you can do some design prototypes as well. Have you used Marvel or like any of these apps where you can create design prototypes? Have you? Thank you. You have? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So you can use one of these and you can still build a prototype, which is like cost effective and you still get some validation from your end user. Okay? That is one of the ways. And there's something called idea cards as well. So what they do is they put all the ideas on the card and then they show it to the users and see which one they like. So that's going to be idea validation. Now let's assume that uh, whatever idea that you had, you got your validation and you guys are cool with, you know, I'm going to implement this. Once you go ahead and implement it, there are multiple nitty gritties there. So that's where your usability study comes into picture. So once the entire app is built, or somewhere midway where you think the app is in a good shape to take it to the user, you go and show it to them, and then you see how they play with the app. That's going to be usability, and you're going to understand if there are any challenges with respect to that. You guys are with me, right? Okay, so now I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. We're just going to talk about this, right? Clear? Okay. So now talking about usability, uh, some of the advantages that we have, like why do we do usability is, so largely there are like few simple reasons. So one of them is uh, you just figure out how easy it is for a person to use their, this particular app. I'm going to focus only on mobile apps for now. So how easy it is for a person to use a mobile app and what is the speed? You know, how fast can I perform a task? Let's say if I ask you to perform a task, how fast can I do that? And the third one is memorability. Uh, you understand what does it mean? Memory, memory of the user. What does it mean? Next time when you come back. You exactly. So let's say I'm, I'm performing a task right now. How easy it is for the user to perform it again? Sometimes, uh, first time it might be very difficult, but over a period of time it, it might become much easier, even that's an okay option. And then what is error? Did something, Did something wrong instead of doing this, and that's an error, right? Okay. And what about delight? Like booking a cab. Okay. All right. You might have done the entire process correctly, but your driver might have been an a-hole and nothing works, right? You're going to be like, WTF, that's what is going to happen. You guys are with me on that? That's going to be delight. Uh, so when we talk about usability study, we kind of focus on all the aspects, which is ease of use, speed, the memorability, error, and the delight part, right? So that's it. So that's about the study. And I'm going to talk quickly about uh, who am I, what am I doing. Uh, so my name is Karthik Kamal Balasubramaniam, and people call me KK because it's much more easier. And I work for Agile FAQs. Uh, and for the past one year, I've been working with a startup, uh, particularly a mobile app. Uh, I don't know how many of you have used Hike Messenger here. Yeah, I've worked for a Hike Messenger for the past one year now. Otherwise, I've worked for Naresh. Uh, so yeah, so my Twitter handle is KKB, so why a greedy soul? Because I tend to do multiple things, like I, I have a book club, I love dancing, so I, I'm also part of a dance team and stuff like that. Uh, so that's pretty much. Uh, so I'll just move to the next one. The next slide is, uh, I'm going to quickly talk about what are the three stages of usability and we're going to jump into the exercise. Are you guys okay? So it's very simple. First is going to be the preparation stage, and the second one is the execution, and the third one is synthesis, right? So what is preparation here? So now that if I have to do a usability, I need to prepare for the study. What do you guys think we need for preparation? For a usability study, what all do you need? We need users, absolutely, yes. And then? 
you need the script. Basically, you need to know what you're going to ask your users. Now that I have my users with me, what am I going to ask them? You know, what is my purpose? What is that I'm going to identify through the study, right? That's a fair enough thing. And what else do you need? Logistics is super important because sometimes when your users are coming, there are a lot of things you have to take care of, including the space that you're going to hire or whatever type of study. So it's basically like an experiment setup. Every time you guys are starting a usability study, always make sure you spend enough time on preparation because people don't do it most often because you have to hire the right candidate. And that's the most difficult part. Hiring itself, we can talk for like a day. But I'm not going to touch upon it. But if you guys have any questions, we can talk about it later. And logistics, when I say it, in, it includes things like what kind of hall you're going to have, what is the lighting, what is the temperature, and what kind of cameras that you're going to use to shoot the users. And you know, how will you keep the users informed about all these equipments? Everything includes logistics, right? So that's a different part. That's going to be the preparation. And then comes your execution. So today, what we're going to do is just execution. We're going to perform a task. We're going to run the test, and we're going to observe what's happening. right? And the last thing is synthesis. Again, this is something we will not do today. So synthesis is basically based on your observation. What are the qualitative and quantitative insights do you have from the study? All right? You guys are with me? So are we good to go? Can we start the exercise? OK. So now, before I move there, uh, so I just want to, uh, can you guys get up? Like, we may not be doing this exercise sitting for sure. Uh, so I want everyone who is comfortable with Snapchat, Instagram, or Hike Messenger to come to this side. And others who are not too comfortable with the apps, you guys can stay this side. Even if you have used the app once, you kind of fairly know what it is. It's good enough. You know Hike? Have you used Hike? Do you have Hike in your mobile? Yes, amazing. Then you can stay here. Yes. So, yeah? It's going to be simple, nothing much. You guys don't have to worry. So, all the, uh, how many people do I have here? I have like, are you comfortable with Snapchat, Instagram, or Hike? Yeah? So, I have like three, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a lot of people. Okay. Uh, so, no, no, these are people who are comfortable with Snapchat, Instagram. So, you guys are the Instagram generation, maybe. Yeah. So what I want you guys to do is, uh, there are eight people here. I want eight individuals from this group to pair up with one of them here. Just pick anybody. Like, just go pair up with one person. Eight of them. Just eight. All right. So do I have, do I have enough pairs? Can I quick show of hands? Let's see what it is. OK. All right. Two. Do you have a pair? Do you have a pair? Yes. Do you have a pair? Do you have a pair? Yes. So how many people do I have today? So I have one. Uh, are you part of it? No. OK. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. OK, 12. That's good enough. That's a good number to have. So what we're going to do is very simple. So I'm going to uh, explain the rules to you. So now, the exercise is simple. I'm going to have three roles. There's going to be a tester, there is going to be an observer, and there is going to be the users. So the bunch of people who are going to stand here, your role is very simple. You have to just play the game. Just do whatever they're asking you to do. That's pretty much. You guys are with me? All right? OK. Uh, as far as you guys are concerned, the ones who are good with the apps, the first eight people, you guys are going to be the testers. And the remaining eight is going to be your observers. OK? Now, what you guys have to do is, uh, Take your mobile phones. I'm assuming you guys have Snapchat, Instagram, or Hike. All eight of you, right? OK. The task is very simple. Ask them to click a picture, add a filter, and add a story. OK? okay? Do you need to tell them what to do? No, no, no. The yeah. idea is, so this is the task. So what is the task? No, I'm just going to give only one task. I'm, I'm going to ask, ask others. Uh, you're going to like not tell them how to do. Don't threaten them also. Don't scold them if they're not doing. It's absolutely fine. All you have to do is just tell them, hey, what? This is my new app. It, it just imagine Snapchat is yours or Instagram is yours. Just imagine that and give them the app and then say, hey, you know what? Can you just click a picture, add a filter, tell them nicely, tell them sweetly, and then see how they are reacting and responding. All right? And if they can't do it, it's absolutely fine. And maybe at the end of the exercise, you can click a selfie and show them how it is done. Right? Uh, but what you have to do is you have to pick your users. So every group, I want you guys to minimum take three users. You guys are with me? All right? So so same users might be performing the same task over and over again as well. That's OK. Right? And if you're performing the same task again in the same app, let your tester know that. That's pretty much. Let's say, for example, if someone is bringing Instagram and you have not used it, it's fair enough. But you already know how to do things in Snapchat. And if they show me, then now don't show off. Like, hey, you know what? This is how it's done. <laughs> yeah? Not that way. You just tell them, because I want the observers to play that part. You guys are with me? 
Yeah, you guys are with me. Now comes the role of the observers. Your role is also very simple. Uh, I want you guys to observe their hand gestures. I want you guys to observe their emotions. I want you to, I mean, I want to observe the conversations that they are having. These are the three primary things, but you guys are free to observe anything else as well. Okay, it's up to you guys. All right, whatever insights that you can bring, let's figure out. So let's start this exercise. So I'm going to give like uh, 15 minutes for this. Is it okay? We just need three users minimum. If you could do more users, fair enough. But at the end of this exercise, I would like to see a lot of Snapchat pictures or Instagram pictures with filters on and all your bunny filters, whatever, whatever. You guys can pick what you want. Are we good to go? All right, so go find your users 15 minutes now. So under that, I'm going to play some music. So. And, and you guys can be a little bit more aggressive, like, <laughs> yes, you're clear with what you have to do. If you have questions, do ask me. Uh, sorry, yes, so just are, a sec. There yes. are eight groups here. Okay. And there are total 12 users. Uh, okay. Let some of the users rest until then. You can pick one user first, yeah. and then the other user can wait. Okay. Yeah. Have you picked your user? I haven't installed the Instagram else. I know can you how download it? I am doing it, but I'm not okay. sure how long Do it you have Insta? Have it, yeah. Can you check once? So are you guys doing this? Instagram, Snapchat, or even Hike Messenger. I would prefer Hike because I want some user data. <laughs> I would really need some user data. Yeah, Hike is here. Hike is here? Oh, amazing. OK. But like my phone is almost dying. So I hope the observers are. So you are the users. You don't have any, no one has contacted you, right? Oh, really? You, you guys can observe as well if you're interested. You want to see what others are doing. No, it's very simple. So like say, for example, all three of your users, yeah, yeah. you just take one user at a time yeah. so that others don't get biased. So one of you can stay here, others can leave. Maybe you can go to the other group. So one of you decide to stay, I'll tell what to be done. Okay. Who wants to stay? <laughs> yeah, OK. Uh, so like for instance, in this group, you can just tell them, uh, can you uh, ask them to ask them to click a picture yeah. through Instagram, yeah. and then add a filter, and then post it? On her account. On her account. You'll delete it, right? <laughs> Immediately, yes. <laughs> You can take her picture if that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and you observe what he is doing. Yeah? Can you can note it down, yes. One of you? Unfortunately, I uninstalled Instagram last week. I'm trying to install it. <laughs> but you don't have a user? No, we you, didn't. You need a user. Okay. We need a user. But just as soon as I install Instagram, I'll install okay. it. Okay, sure, great. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Vivian. I'm very new to hike. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Try. Yeah, we're trying. Okay. Let me do it. So so okay, do it. And then send it to whom? To you. Oh, you don't know how to post it? No, I don't know. So what will you do? Now this is the step. What will you yeah. do next? What do you From think you should point do? Of I don't know where to go now. You don't know where to go now? OK, but try something. <laughs> I'm and I want to send it to somebody. You need send to send to somebody, right? To whom will it post the story, no? No, yeah, those are the questions to ask. This yeah. is not okay. my thing. This is oh my God, sir. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so can we take a quick debrief now? So I see some of you have done it. So I want to hear from you guys what you have done. Okay. Uh, can we take a quick debrief? Sure. Yeah. Quickly. Uh, everybody. Are you guys done? And I know some of you have done this study, right? I would like to know what you guys have done. Let's hear from you. OK, all right. So can you come forward, please? It's very hard to uh, discuss, unless you guys are scared of me. 
like this group, you guys are good? OK, these guys are good. So I want to give some general instructions, because I see that different people are doing different kinds. And what is, what is OK and what is not OK. So we get a holistic study and a full ha hand experience of that. Uh, so I want a volunteer. Any volunteer, please? And can I use your phone for uh, inst well, which, which app are you using? Are you using Instagram? OK, uh, for the testers, it's very simple. Uh, and, and also see that people are panicking when they're not doing it properly. And it's OK if the users are not doing it. All you do is, let's say, for instance, I'm going to tell him, uh, can you add a story uh, to this? Yes. Do you understand what a story is? No. OK, a story is basically a day in your life, a okay. moment in your life. Okay. If I say you can post this on your Instagram, okay. where will you go and post this? Just look at the app, play with the app, and see where will you go post it. You've done the picture, let me try and it's gone. It's gone? Okay. All right. Uh, so now, what did you guys observe him doing? He didn't know what to do, right? So what will you do when he's not able to do? Just tell him it's okay. Like if, if the user is not able to find, then just move on to the next user. You can just say, hey, nice meeting you, and then you can go to the next <laughs> user, right? You don't have to make him do an action. If he's not doing an action, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so what the observers will observe, for instance, whatever I have noticed is, there were like multiple buttons. I asked him to click a story, and there were like options as, a, there was a camera, and there was an arrow like button, and there was something called as your story. So the feedback I got from this is he didn't read your story. Right? So that's the feedback that I'm getting from the study, which means that my usability of this app is not that great. So that's all you guys have to get. And then just move on. Get this feedback and then quickly move on. So what was the user experience? The emotion is very frustrated. I found him to be very frustrated. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's what I felt. You know, it's more like that's what I, I got a sense of he's being, being very frustrated. So I just gather that emotion and then I just move on. Why am I doing this? Because what I'm interested in is not to make him do this task. That's OK. I'm not going to judge him for doing or not doing the task. But what is critical for me is to understand the behaviors. So go and do it with 10 people. You'll realize that all 10 of them. But what I want to see is understand behaviors. Let's see where Instagram, Snapchat, and Hike Messenger fails when it comes to usability. All right? You guys are good? But everybody has to do the same thing. If you, if you have a better idea, fair enough. Like, I mean, you can do another task as well. I want to understand as many things as possible. But if you think you want to do something else, fair enough. OK? All right? The whole point is just play, feel free, do whatever you want, but move from one user to another. All right? OK? 10 minutes from now, guys. Yeah, don't take more than a minute with any user. 3, 30, 40 seconds is a good enough time. Yeah, hire your users. Give them money if you want. No, no, do it. Yes, yes. I'm just trying to. She's the one who's been writing a lot of things I've been noticing for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> she, she has observations about all of you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's okay. That's later. That's much later. No, no, if he's not doing it, you can move to the other person. He did it? Then go to the other user, get more data points. Oh, new story. You feel that? Okay, go for it. So guys, at the end of exercise, I want some insights from you guys as a team. As behaviors, what do you notice from your users?
Really? Okay, let's figure that out. Let's hear from you. Okay. Is it? It's using Instagram. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was. Yeah. It was a different. It was different. Yeah. So what did you observe? The usability is. Device dependent. Probably. It's device dependent. Yeah. So what do you think? We will talk about it. Actually, it's an interesting case that we should talk I about. I actually uh, went up and said, I actually thought they were going to show me Snapchat. They said, Okay. Instagram. I said, Let me see if it's different or a different. Device. All right. Okay. And I haven't really used. You're using Instagram or Snapchat? <laughs> on, they are using Instagram right now. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm an occasional user of user Insta of both. Okay. Okay. So I just want to see on iOS how it works. How it, it was actually different. It was different or difficult? Uh, not intuitive as much. Uh, it wasn't my intuitive. Mind okay. Is used to Certain series right. of steps on Android. Okay. And so it's it's fixed in my mind. I don't even have to think twice about it. But here I had to think twice. Hey, you know, where's okay. it going? Why is it not working? All right. The same? Yeah, it happens, happens. Anyone else? I think everybody's using Instagram. Nobody's no, I think somebody is using Hike. And I want to see if one per are you using Snapchat? No. no. Okay. Are you using Instagram. Snapchat? No. no. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys don't prefer Snapchat, okay? <laughs> You guys are using Instagram, right? Yes. Are you done with how many users? Three users. More, more. Get four, five, any six, seven. Guys, please there are so in. many users who are waiting. You can just go grab them. Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> guys, the point is, the more users you do with, you get more insights. You notice and observe. You observe behaviors. You will be able to correct them as well. So, if you're done with three, take another two or three more users as well. So how many users did you guys do? Two. Okay. Two. Okay. Do a couple more. Any more users? Are there more users? I think you guys have tested enough. Okay, last couple of minutes. Oh, is it? Okay, all right. I think it's good enough time. All right, okay. I think I think most of you have done the study, right? All of you, is there anyone in the room who didn't participate in the study? Anybody in this room who didn't participate in the study as one of the roles? You guys are good? So I want all the users this side and all the observers and all the testers. Okay? All the users, observers, and testers, can you guys group into three? Like, so we get to hear what you guys thought. So all these are users? All of them are users? Observers, can you sit here? The users don't like me, so they're far behind. So all the observers, please, and all the testers. I thought there were eight people, right? Can you come forward a little bit? Yeah, all the testers. Okay, fantastic. So what did you guys think? Let's start with the testers. Let's hear, right? So it's the same app. Let's hear perspectives. Uh, so you guys have been using uh, Instagram and Hike or Snapchat for some time. What was your experience? What did you think? I think for the first time user. Just to say. Are you guys, is, is he audible? I'll, I'll use the mic. Yeah, you can use my mic. <laughs> So 
so for the so for the first time okay <laughs> that's that's what happens when you use it for the first time yeah <laughs> check yes fantastic so i mean for the first time it's really difficult for anyone to see okay but after trying that app again and again you actually develop a memory of that thing so you don't actually read that uh -huh. point you what i feel is users don't actually read okay users actually use their memory okay. to find that action okay so uh, so what is this we'll talk about it you're saying that users use their memory when yes. to find the action but they yes. don't really read things that's what yes. you're saying yes. right okay any other observations anyone well one thing that i observed was that uh, when i asked them to okay when i asked them to post a story okay so for me it was right there okay but for them they were not able to figure it out for like 2 3 minutes was so it frustrating yes like yeah, doing like, okay, the study there. Oh, like like when you <laughs> see it is right there like did it happen yeah, like yeah. yeah cool okay what about you uh, yeah uh, we did uh, uh, happen to show the uh, app to three of the users mm -hmm. so one was kind of really confused okay uh, we just asked her to click a pick so she was not able to find okay. uh, the camera all right and another person uh, they were like the platform was not ready in the sense they were using a different kind of phone mm -hmm. and this was an android phone okay so the platform was not ready okay. just like the way we do it with the browser testing all right okay so that okay. was a thing okay. and uh, yeah kind of confused reaction it was from confused the reads. reactions yeah. okay anything else you guys would like to add more than this like did you observe anything else what was your experience like But particularly for the instagram i felt that uh, for the I'm anyways audible. Oh yeah. So um, <laughs> it records not. It records. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, for the first time users, uh, I think uh, probably Instagram may uh, do a slightly better. Okay. Uh, for the first time, uh, when, I, when I was trying to use it, All I right. was slightly confused. Okay. But the next time, it was quite fast. It was quite fast. Okay. All right. Have you used Snapchat before? No. You haven't. Okay. All right. Any anything else you guys would like to add? Yeah, with Hike, uh, the first user was unable to finding it hard to use the app. Okay. I mean, from my personal experience, I don't like Hike as much as I like WhatsApp. Sure. Yeah. But then, <laughs> when I did, when but that's why they hired me. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. what we saw is all the users we interacted with, they were able to, you know, take a picture and post a story. All right. Okay. Without any help. Okay. So uh, maybe. It's Maybe they just don't know how to use it. Or yeah. Something. She was also worried when the first picture went. I don't know who is going to see this. Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so thank you so much, all the testers. Uh, let's hear from the observers. So, what did you guys observe? Like, what are the patterns and behaviors that you observe? I think uh, it started with frustration first okay. of all. Okay. So the so emotion was frustration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So when it was asked that, okay, click a picture. Okay. the first reaction was okay where do i find it and uh, the camera is on the top but mm -hmm. it started with the plus anyway it still okay. was able to figure out all right and uh, uh, later like we said okay let's click a selfie with three of us okay and uh, uh, only two people were actually fitting into the so how many users did you interview three so your success rate is like uh, two out of three yeah right okay all right so not a very smooth experience mm -hmm. and uh, when it came to like a story okay. so i played the role of observer and okay. for demo i played the role of actual user okay uh, nobody i think was able to actually find the story from at the f in the first shot okay and uh, after the tester actually showed us around okay. and we came to know that okay it's along with your friends okay. at the top All there right. is the first icon which is your story so okay. i am assuming that this is a fifth friend all right uh, okay. which was actually not a very okay. smooth experience all right okay it wasn't a smooth experience yeah. so what i gathered is two out of three users did it and the general emotion was frustration yeah. and it was not a smooth experience here are all these words because these are very crucial okay what next what anyone else would like to share yeah so apart from what uh, just uh, being said uh, i observed one point where in there were multiple icons duplicate on the same screen so people okay. were users were getting confused which okay. one to choose okay. so when when i when i uh, when so which app are you talking about hike oh hike okay <laughs> so <laughs> thank you <laughs> so so users were having a problem thinking uh, okay so if if my tester is asking them to create a story okay uh, 
there is no direct icon saying the story on the okay. first screen All right. but there are uh, buttons which shows something like chat mm -hmm. so this is on top also and bottom also mm -hmm. now user get confused to click on bottom mm -hmm. they go to bottom they see their my story is there but okay. there they see the previous story guys photo over there which is clicked okay. so they again get confused okay, okay will it post my story or the uh, the existing story will be reposted All so right. that's okay. the kind of confusion it comes and user come back to the previous screen and again go to the uh, same button which is lying on top okay so a lot of uh, 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 I'm, I'm saying like a simplicity like uh, so you felt that uh, this app had like too many redundancy yes and because of that it was very confusing for the users to pick yes. that's what that's your yes. insight yes. can anyone talk about Instagram I think uh, we got like uh, you both of you maybe yeah yeah yes see apart from what the Instagram thing uh, when our tester ask for take a picture okay so they talking themselves okay, okay so how to take a picture kind of a thing you know they okay. are searching all right and uh, identify the camera okay then after that filter means bloody where is the filter okay. <laughs> what filter all right kind of a question actually okay, okay. and uh, there is a user story to mm -hmm. save it uh, okay mm -hmm. So, what is this user story? Okay. Okay. Right. What's your use, your story? So, we're asking you all these thing. questions. Yeah. So, your story kind right. of thing. Okay. So, some of them are speaking for themselves. Okay, they're speaking <laughs> for themselves. Okay. All right. And uh, once uh, some of them, once they they are asking the question, did it upload? Okay, okay. without doing any action on right. the thing, okay. kind okay. of a thing. So, it. is it done? Okay. Uh, whom to send okay because the list of users getting listed there All kind right. of a thing and okay. yes I see there is so but did they perform the action finally did they click a picture add a filter and send it to someone uh, out of four one did that successfully. One person, One did person that successfully. they repeated the steps. And but the remaining uh, others, they were no, not successful. No, not right? successful. Okay, so what I hear from him mm -hmm. is it's largely the consolidated, what I'm hearing is people were confused again. They mm -hmm. were confused at various steps. They didn't know where the camera icon was. They didn't know how to apply filter or what filter is in first place. And if I'm going to send mm -hmm. it, uh, who will get this? Again, that's a question that people had, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing from yes, you. Yes. Is it right? Yes. Okay. You have something to add? Yes. Just a minute. Yeah. So the the user actually started by uh, to do some other task like for example uh, as i said selfie for three people okay okay that's what the objective was okay and uh, uh, normally in the same camera three or five people can easily fit uh -huh. in the instagram uh, whatever resolution it was showing okay. only two people were fitting okay so the user actually ended up clicking the picture of the tester and the observer and, the observer. and he said okay I, i'm good that's okay. fine uh, okay. Enough. Right. That's enough. <laughs> so, <All right. laughs> actually, uh, the user uh, got frustrated and said, "Okay, you guys take the picture." Interesting. And I'm, I'm done. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Yes. So we had interviewed four users. Okay. The first user was like using it for the first time. Mm -hmm. So the initial reaction was curiosity. Okay. He was really like curious to uh, just go through the app. Okay. And but he did like struggle for a while to figure it out where is a story, where is a filter. Okay. But after two, three minutes he managed to do that. All but right. the rest of the users they had used it before. Uh -huh. They were kind of like okay to try it again. Okay. But unfortunately the app was crashing. The app was crashing. It was okay. like frustrating and All I right. don't think they are going to come back again. And they're going to come back again. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. So let's hear from the users. How was your experience like using these apps for the first time? In one word if you have to say what it is. <laughs> okay. How was your experience? So mine was uh, to add a story on Instagram, which okay. I had not done. Okay. How was uh, it? I struggled, it struggled to find uh, your story because okay. there were too many icons. All right. Uh, and I did the typical thing of going on because I felt your story. So I went to the profile okay. to see in my profile, will I be able to put my story? All right. Uh, and at the end, it was more frustrating when someone showed me, you know, the story is your story is right up there. And right. I was still not convinced that why is it in line with all the friend circles okay. and in the same icon? and I right. kind of said, you know, that's okay. something that I, the only takeaway I went after the session is I'm, I'm not going to use this again. So this is very interesting. So you thought actually the plus and whatever you saw after that were friends icon? No, the on the your story and after that, on the, the top bar with your story. So the, the top bar is friends icon, everybody here. Oh my God, Instagram sucks. <laughs> actually, those are the stories posted by your individual friends. Anyway. Yeah, let's let's hear from other. So he's more frustrated now. Yes, like, what is this? The only takeaway is I'm not <laughs> going to use your story. All right, you'll not be using it anyway. Okay. Anything else? And what was so your uh, for me, I'm actually an avid user of Instagram on uh, Android. Uh -huh. But when I saw that, uh, I think 
she was having it on apple phone so i said let me go ahead and check it out on ios how does it uh, surprisingly it was not very intuitive okay i'm used to putting stories on instagram or even uh, clicking pictures and uploading but mm -hmm. the when, it, when the device of the platform changed okay. the same steps which were memorized in my head uh, for an android device didn't really work out that well it didn't work out pretty well so, so you see there is a change in the uh, usability based yeah, on the yeah, device yeah. it took me uh, it took me uh, probably 30 seconds more to get the same yeah. action done yes yes you want to add something yes so i would say it was the same experience as i had when i first time used facebook and twitter okay all right and i think the next time it is pretty easy it's going to be pretty so it's easy. just the first time problem it's a first time problem same what we did with facebook twitter or any of the social media tools all right okay all right anyone else so basically what i'm hearing is generally there's a lot of struggle there's a lot of frustration almost you guys decided that i'll never ever use this app again in my life right okay oh. fantastic um, <laughs> for me Hey, have bought some customers for hike. I hope. Yeah. Uh, I used in Instagram only the first time uh, okay, the today, first time? Right. but I fi find it comfortable. Whatever tester asked me to do it, I could do it. But okay. I struggle for the hike. You struggle. Because they asked yeah. me to do my story, but okay. I was seeing the chat icon, okay. so I was confused. Do I okay. really need to click that or something else? All right. So Instagram, I found it very easy. You found it easier. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm hearing is, from a usability point of view, you found Instagram to be a lot more smoother than Hike Messenger. Yeah. Is it right? Yep. Okay. Great. Amazing. Uh, so yeah, I think it's 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 like so. This is almost a uh, a quick dip, like like a dipstick into all of you for all of you to know how usability study work. Right? Have you guys looked at apps this way before? Like whatever apps that you are using? Have you used that the usability? Have you seen how people struggle using it? Because it's a big, there's a large, yeah. uh, there's a, it's, a, it's a huge science, you know, there are a lot of research going on around how users are interacting with the machines, you know, that's a big science by itself. So whatever we did is like just a glimpse of uh, what it feels like to do a usability study, right? Uh, so now do you think these inputs are important and valid? What do you guys think? Some of them. Why it is some of them? Uh, there can be um, example. You you are targeting some uh, let's say urban area only. Okay. So all right. You take the usability cases of the rural area that might not be applicable. That might not be applicable. So what she is saying technically is let's say the uh, users that we had today, if you guys don't belong to the demographics that we are looking at, then this feedback is not very essential, and that's spot on. Like for all you know, I don't have to please everybody in this room, but if there is a certain demographic that I'm targeting, if that's my TG, then if these guys are comfortable, then it's okay to do. Trust me, I've like worked with like hundreds of users in the past one year. I've done like usability study and stuff like that. We'll talk about quick do's and don'ts, uh, and then we'll wrap up the study. But one quick understanding that I had was the behaviors of people actually what I'm observing is not really about their opinions uh, not really about their uh, what they say and what they say after and before but what I'm really looking for is the subtle behaviors that they actually exhibit you know like say for instance next time ask your friend uh, to perform an action in an app that you particularly know and see where they intuitively go and click what is interesting is irrespective of the user wherever they come from they all seem to go and click at the same place because subconsciously we all think that's where this particular feature is going to be and, and that's how usability work uh, you don't really ask your users or threaten your users saying this is how it has to be you just let them play with it that's why sometimes unofficially it's also called as play test but it's good fun you know while you do it you just realize that how fantastic it is to observe similar behaviors across different human beings and you're asking them to perform the same task. So what we did today was more like a task-oriented uh, usability study where uh, there was an individual who was actually giving you the task and then somebody is performing. And there's also another way of doing it. What is the challenge, of challenge in this particular case? What do you think the users might go through? They may never end up using that app, but let's look at the emotional aspect of it. What are they going through in the process? Somebody judging, you. Somebody judging you, isn't it? Like it's very hard for you to put yourself there and then say, you know what, like you try this and show it to me. You know, it's more like that. So when you're not doing it, it's not going to feel good. They're going to feel bad about it. So there are multiple ways of doing it. Some of us also uh, give the task list to the user, ask them to go to an individual room and then say, finish your task and come. And that's pretty much. And there are, there, there are heat maps. Uh, sometimes uh, there are ways in which you can observe where people are looking at in your mobile app. So they wouldn't even know that they are being tested. Right? Uh, but at the same time, as an individual, I prefer telling the user what they are going through. And it's very, very important. OK? So the crux is, uh, yes? I have a question. Uh, how, how would you decide what is the right composition for you to have this kind of a demographic 
So are you asking how do you decide on your TG, your target group? Actually, that's a big, big talk by itself. Because like when we talk about your target group, your target group can be of multiple kinds. So the My plan. Okay, what I plan are you talking about? For example, let's say a mobile, mobile phone. Yeah. Okay, so, all right. So until unless I am dissatisfied with okay. whatever I am exist using right. currently, mm -hmm. why would I be interested into performing a usability test? Mm -hmm. f uh, because I I don't have that inherent need. Mm -hmm. So how how would you how would you uh, uh, so while deciding your while deciding your group, how would you make sure that you don't have or you have these kind of people? All right. See, what is interesting here is we don't really uh, see training the user is the most difficult part of your life. You know, if you decide that there is a super cool feature and there is a super cool plan, and I think that's fantastic, and my users will learn it, that will never happen. It's going to be the most toughest and the hardest part. Like, say, one of the difficult challenges. What? Let's look at WhatsApp, right? Let's look at WhatsApp. WhatsApp. What they have done is they've kind of trained the users over the years. Uh, today, any chatting, chatting app that you're going to get, any messaging app that you're going to get, the inherent expectation is it should be like WhatsApp. And there have been like so many customer requests which says that in WhatsApp we do it this way and why am I doing it this way in this particular app. So it's very hard to train your users. So in your case, if you ask me that if people are coming back to you over and over, that's a very bad idea. You know, if like I, if, I'm, if I'm coming in the group with a preconceived notion mm -hmm. that I'm not going to like that app, mm -hmm. so I'll I'll perform the testing. Uh, so my, my testing would be influenced based on whatever with I'm coming with. Yeah. So how do you how do you eliminate or how do you filter out such a? Okay, so you're saying that you're not a user of the app. You're going to see the app for the first time, and you already have a notion I'm not going to like the app. What is going to happen? We're not going to do anything. So whatever the user does is what the user does. However, when we talk about our TG, uh, we decide on our TG at multiple level. We have the regular users, the high profile users, people use it million times a day, and then people who are like medium users, and then we have rare users, and then people who don't use it, use it at all. So when we conduct our studies, we usually conduct it across all this TG to understand what their behaviors are. And obviously, we're going to pick whatever is convenient for you. It's, it's impossible for you to build an app which is going to cater to the needs of everyone. Uh, but just to take a data point, we kind of take uh, conduct studies with the users uh, who have not used the app as well. So it, there is there is no point in convincing. The whole idea is you don't have to convince any user. So at the end of usability, it's not like they should like your app. It's absolutely fine if they don't like the app. If they tell you things, just hear and then be very patient and say thank you very much, thanks for coming. That's pretty much. We don't have to convince our users. We don't want them to say, hey, this is a fantastic app, and that's the last thing we want to hear from them. Yeah. Uh, can I go to my last slide so then we can like wrap up with a few more questions? Uh, so I think I'm like running short of time. Yeah. Yes. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the points to remember and then we'll be good. And any questions I'll take post the session. So a so, few things that you have to remember about usability is don't ask, always observe. You know, don't ask them questions. Don't put them in a place where they feel uncomfortable. Always empathize with your user because it's going to be very hard for them. Just uh, give them a task and then observe what they are doing. That's pretty much. And be open to ideas. If they're going to tell you your app is bad, if they're going to tell whatever you're doing is not right, it's absolutely fine. Just take the feedback. And don't threaten them. This is very, it's, it's very normal. Sometimes when you're building the app, you're very passionate about it. When they say, hey, I don't know what it is, they might like, what do you say? You know, that, that's, that's how the usual experience is. So don't threaten them. And don't lead them. You know, don't lead them to another thing. And then the important part is be patient. Like I said, if they're giving you feedback, just take it. And the last one is have more empathy. You know, just understand what they really want to say and hear from them and then move, on, move forward from there. So this is just a glimpse of how usability is going to be. I think I've run short of time, so I'm going to end it here. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, so we'll, any questions, I'll take up after this. All right? Thank you.